And to continuing coverage from the roadways, a multi-million dollar road project is causing a major headache for some families. Dozens came out for a public VDOT meeting this afternoon sharing concerns and asking questions about the I-64, I-264 improvement plan. Then at your sides, Liz Kilmer joins us live from Norfolk with what happened at tonight's meeting. Liz? Well, Tom and Nina, we're standing here off of Blackstone Street. You can see a construction site behind me. It's one that people who live nearby say is disrupting their lives, and they made sure that VDOT officials heard about it this afternoon. Now, one woman says she believes that VDOT is listening, and she's trying to be as positive as possible about this project. Once complete, it's expected to improve the commute for thousands of drivers each day. A whole lot of very large dump trucks, that kind of thing come up and down this street at a high rate of speed. A road safety project ironically causing safety concerns for people living near the construction. I don't think they realize that this is our neighborhood. Elizabeth Bain lives on Blackstone Street across from one of the sites part of VDOT's major I-64-264 improvement project. Thursday, she and dozens of others spoke out at a public meeting. Wayne Lassiter also unhappy with noise from the work and trees being removed here. It used to be quiet and you could hear crickets. Now you hear nothing but interstate. Project engineer James Klotz says they're listening. They've asked the contractors to be mindful of speed. He says they're trying to be considerate about noise and to police the area. We're sweeping a lot. We're keeping up with uh, any kind of debris that may be dropped by trucks. Bain feels she's being heard. Already, crews have taken action on her behalf. Our yards were getting destroyed, so the VDOT folks came out and, and put these little things out. She says she understands the need for interstate improvements. What it's going to do is going to enable people to get to 264 a lot quicker and it's also going to separate folks from local traffic to the through traffic. People living here are counting down to that day. I think they're doing the best that they can do under the circumstances and, and hopefully they'll continue to listen to us. But we, we've got two more years of this. so. And phase one of the project is expected to wrap up in October of 2019. Officials say it's on schedule and on budget. The work began late last year. We told you more about it then at another public meeting. For more information on that, on the project, including phase two, head to wavy.com. I'm live in Norfolk, Liz Kilmer, 10 on your side.